Hey guys, good morning. Happy Tuesday. Hope you're doing well. Um, I'm here ready to talk about the calendar. So, yesterday was the 28th. Okay, what number comes after the 28th? 29. Alright, let's look and see what day I put 29 on there. This day starts with a T and then a U to Tuesday. Alright? We're still in the month of September. It's still the year 2020. So let's put it all together. It is Tuesday, September 29th, 2020. And we're going to go ahead and update our date board. Leaving the 9 because we're still in the month of September. Tuesday, 929-2020. Okay? That's the day we're going to write on our calendar, or on our schoolwork this, today. Um, we are in the season of fall. Our weather outside is not rainy and cold. It's been kind of nice and sunny and beautiful. So we'll put uh, warm and sunny. That looks pretty good. Hope it stays like that for a while. All right. So let's come on over here and we'll talk about reading. This week in our reading material, we are reading and learning about the book Recess Queen recess queen okay so one of the things we're going to do today is we're going to look at pictures and retell the story so i want to reread the story so that we have it fresh in our mind and um, then we can put some pictures into the correct order mean jean was recess queen and nobody said any different nobody swung until mean jean swung nobody kicked until mean jean kicked nobody bounced until mean jean bounced If kids ever crossed her, she'd push them and smush them and lollapalush them and hammer them and slammer them and kits them and kachammer them. I like the rhyming in this book. Say what? Oh, hold on. Say what, Mean Jean growled. Say who, Mean Jean howled. Say you? Just who do you think you're talking to? Mean Jean always got her way. Until one day. A new kid came to school. Katie Sue, a teeny tiny kid. You, a kid you might scare with a bump and a boo. But when the recess bell went ringity ring, the kid ran zingity zing to the, for the playground gate. Katie swoo, Sue swung before Mean Jean swung. Katie Sue kicked before Mean Jean kicked. Katie Sue bounced before Mean Jean bounced. The kid you might scare with a jump and a boo who was too, too new to know about Mean Jean the recess queen. She just ran out there and had a good old time. Well, Mean Jean bullied through the playground crowd, like always. She pushed kids and smushed kids, lollapalooshed kids, hammered them and slammered them, kits them and kajammered them, and as she charged after that, Katie Sue... Phew! Say what, she growled. Say who. She howled. Say you. This she snarled and grabbed Katie Sue by the collar. Nobody swings until Mean Jean swings. Nobody kicks until Queen Jean kicks. Nobody bounces until Queen Jean bounces. And she figured that would set the record straight. She figured wrong. Katie Sue talked back. Just as sassy as could be, she said, How did you get so bossy? Then she, that puny thing, that loony thing, grabbed the ball and bounced away. Oh, Katie Sue was one quick kid. She bolted quick as light, lightning, bouncity, bouncity, bounce, kickity, kickity, kick, and swingity, swingity, swing. Mean Jean thundered close behind. Bouncity, kickity, swingity. The recess, recess queen was not amused. She raced and chased in your face that Katie Sue... No one spoke, no one moved, and no one breathed. Mm -hmm. 
Then from her pack called, pulled Katie Sue, a jump rope clean and bright. Hey, Jeannie Beanie, sang Katie Sue, let's try this jump rope out. Here's one true thing, until that day, no one dared ask Miss Jean to play. But that Katie Seuss just hopped and jumped and skipped away. I like ice cream, I like tea, I want Jean to jump with me. So she did a very small, nice thing. She invited Jean to play with her. Jean just gaped and stared as if too scared to move at all. So Katie Sue sang once more, I like popcorn, I like tea, I want Jean to jump with me. She turned it around. Then from the side, a kid called out, go Jean, go! And to surprise to even shout, Jean jumped in with Katie Sue, I like cookies, I like tea, I want you to jump with me. Woohoo! The rope whizzed and slapped faster, faster. The rope spun and flapped faster, faster, till it caught in a tangled disaster, but they just giggled and jumped again. Sounds like fun. Well, now when recess rolls around, that playground's one great place. At the school's bell, ringity-ring, those two girls race zingity-zing. Out the classroom door, Jean doesn't push kids and smush kids or lollapalush kids. Hammer em and slam em, kits and kajammer em, cause she's having too much fun. Rompity romping with her friends. Thanks to Katie Sue, now me and Jean gets to have a good time too. Bouncity, kickity, swingity, hoppity, skippity, jumpity, ringity, zingity. Yes! Such a nice story. All right, so what you're gonna do now is you're gonna get out your literacy packet. Week four, grade one, 928 through 92. And you're gonna turn to page four. The page has pictures on it like this. Go ahead and grab that page. And just pull it out of your packet. Okay, and you're gonna cut this out. Because we're gonna put these in order. If you notice the page behind this, page number five, um, is blank. So that's where we're going to glue these pictures down in order. We have to decide which one happens first and so on and so forth. Okay. Put your paper scraps in the garbage like we always say. Or recycling, excuse me. And I'm cutting along the dotted lines. You should have six pictures of children and then there's a, uh, a title that says I can retell the story using key details the recess queen so you should have this title and then you have six little pictures <laughs> okay All right, so taking your blank page, find your glue stick. Uh-oh, mine's across the room, hold on. The other glue stick ran out. I had to go get a whole new one. Anyway, we're going to put glue on the back of this, and that's going to go right at the top of your page. Okay, so now we've got a picture of a little girl. Kind of looks like a scrunchy mouth, maybe not so happy. Another little girl who looks happy with pigtails. I think that's Katie Sue. Here's children on the playground crying. I think that might be Mean Jean, this big one here. Um, 
So if you remember back to the story in the beginning, Mean Jean, it kind of goes through how she's a bully on the playground and she keeps her status of being a bully by going around and kicking and stomping and lollapalooshin kids, you know? So I'm gonna say potentially this picture of Mean Jean bullying the kids happens first in the story. Okay, so you're going to glue that down right there, kind of in that first spot. And we're going to put a number one over that picture. Okay? And then after that, Katie Sue comes. And she's the new girl in school. That's number two. Then she goes outside and she bounces the ball. That's number three. Katie Sue does not like it. Nope. She doesn't like it. Grumpy face, Katie Sue. I mean, Mean Jean, number four. And then Katie Sue invites her to jump rope. That's number five. Like that. And then the last one, they're both smiling and happy because now they're friends. Okay, so go ahead and pause the video here. If you want to copy this down, get your pictures in that same order. There you go. All right, when you're done with that, go ahead. And you're going to turn to these three sentences. Mean Jean wanted to be the boss. So up here at the top, that's a sentence that is written in the correct format. All the words are spelled correctly. They're in the right order. It has a capital in the front, a period at the end. So let's check the next two, okay? Does it have a capital at the beginning? Nope. So cross it out. Put a capital M. Jean. I noticed the J here is lowercase and the J up here is uppercase. Why is it a capitalized J? Because it's a name. We always capitalize the name. So this J also needs to be a capital J for Jean. Okay, let's check the rest of the words. Wanted, that looks good. To be the boss. Okay, all that looks good. Now down here, mean, capital, yes, capital, yes. Wanted to be the boss. Everything looks good except for the period at the end. There we go. So check yours, make sure you have all those. And then turn to the Og word family. Og. So all these pictures are called something that ends with the sound Og. Dog, log, jog, hog. What's this one? Fog and frog. No. Bog. That's a bog. <laughs> Woo! I almost missed. I'm like, pond does not end with og. It's a bog. So there you have it. You learned a new word. So let's go through and we're going to write dog above the dog, like that, dog, D-O-G, log, L-O-G, log, this one is jog, J-O-G, right up here, J-O-G, hog, H-O-G, okay, H O G. Fog. F fog is F O G. There's fog, and bog is B B B 
O G. Okay, B O G. Okay, number one, his dog is on the log. His dog is on the log? No. His dog is on the log? No. Yes. His dog is on the log? No. So this one is number one. Number two, the hog is in the bog. Okay, here's a hog in the bog. That's number two. This is not a hog in the bog. Cross out two because you already did it. And then the last one is she can jog in the fog. She's jogging. That's going to be number three. All right. Last one. We're going to do vocabulary. So grab this page. Pull it out. Okay, behind that should be a blank page. You're going to cut this out. And our vocabulary word for today is bossy. Bossy. I bet you've heard that word before. I bet it's even possible somebody has called you bossy. What does bossy mean? Anybody know? What do you think it means? Does it mean that you're sweet and quiet and you don't really say very much? No? Does it mean you like to tell people what to do? Or tell animals what to do? Yeah. Okay, so the word bossy, it means ordering people about or around, okay? So we're gonna put some glue on here, just on the edge, just right here on the edge, okay? And you're going to glue it down like this. Okay. So under the first tab, it says a picture of the word. How do you draw a picture of bossy? Okay. Bossy is being kind of pushy, kind of controlling. Well, let's just draw a picture of someone pushing. Okay. Let's say they pushed a person down to the ground. Which is not very nice. Okay. So there's my person being pushed to the ground, pushing people around. Okay, the sentence that we're going to write is, he was bossy and always told me what to do. He, H-E, was, okay, H-E, was bossy, B-O-S-S-Y, he was bossy and always told me what to do, told me what to do. Okay, so go ahead and pause the video there and copy down the sentence. He was bossy and always told me what to do. Okay, and the opposite of the word is modest. M O D E S T. Modest. You can pause this here and write that down. Okay, and when you're done with that, you are done with your reading work for Tuesday. Alrighty.